Welcome to a whirlwind tour of MPLAB X. As soon as you open the IDE for the first time, you are presented a start page. Open to the Learn and Discover tab. This has a wealth of information and links to get you up to speed using MPLAB X. There are videos, registration for the MPLAB X forum, and ways of starting development immediately using the samples, creating a new, or importing MPLAB 8 legacy projects. On the next tab, My MPLAB IDE, you have recent projects and ways to open up more functionality within the IDE. On the initial install of MPLAB X, we have hidden some new menu functionality. When you want to enable it, select full featured menus and run through the directions provided. This tab also provides many links for reference material, as this will normally be the default tab once you start development under MPLAB X. The final tab, What's New, provides four areas of content populated by RSS feeds, just to keep you up to date. Much of this content is obviously only available if you have an open internet connection. Moving on to the menus, File is like most file menus where you go to create new content, save and exit. Edit has editing functionality. View contains visible configuration items for the IDE like toolbars. Navigate to navigate through code which is also available on many right context menus within the editor. Source for functionality to assist in editing the source code and formatting again available in right context menus. Run and debug provide the actual startup of running or debugging your code. Under MPLAB X, you have two main working paradigms, editing and debugging running. Team has all the source code control functionality and open source team content, like interfacing into an issue tracking system and can I. Tools is where you go to configure or add compilers, add plugin functionality to extend the IDE. Window is where all the window view content is selected. Debug windows, embedded view memory, and other views to assist in your development. Help provides the full featured content to answer your questions should you need them. When editing, the edit toolbar lives above the files. During edit, the right context menu is your friend and allows you for many code assist and completion activities. You can look at history by right clicking on the tab, which will give you local history of changes made to this file, or you can go back to viewing the other windows at the similar time. You change your project properties from the project properties accessed through the right context menu at the end or through the combo box on the toolbar, which gives you the configuration or customize for the properties. Project properties allow you to change compiler settings, debug tool settings, and device or tool you are using to be debug with. In the properties, you will see the tools that are connected to your system. You can select the one you want to use, the compiler, or change the device. You can even have multiple configurations. So you can use the same code to build a device A or device B. You could have different tools. So then you can change quickly between tools for the same project. For example, using the simulator to debug, then program using PM3 or Pickstart Plus. Once you've built your project and you want to debug, selecting the debug run will rebuild the project with the debug information contained, program the device, and start the debug session. This takes you into the mode with a debug toolbar that provides the pause, continue, and step functionality. Many debug windows will only come visible while in the debug mode 
and close when editing. This depends on when you open the window, for example the watch and the variables window. One last thing to mention is if you have been using MPLAB 8 and then wish to use MPLAB X, MPLAB X uses different USB device drivers. There is a switch application under all programs, microchip, MPLAB X IDE, where you can switch the drivers for any tools connected to your system. From the application, you can select all the tool types to switch between MPLAB 8 or MPLAB X USB drivers. By only connecting the tools you wish to switch, you can keep some using the MPLAB 8 drivers and therefore running both IDEs simultaneously. There is a lot more content to explore, but I hope this gave you a quick taste of the new MPLAB X IDE.